Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Death is the start of a great adventure never mind that you might not be around for it. You can be declared dead in some states but considered alive in others. That's because New York and New Jersey allow families to reject the concept of brain death if it goes against their religious beliefs. One of the first visible signs of death is when the eyes cloud over, as fluid and oxygen stop flowing to the corneas. That can happen within 10 minutes after death if the eyes were open, and 24 hours if the eyes were closed. Today, there are about 300 bodies frozen in liquid nitrogen in America in the hope that science will one day be able to bring them back to life. Contrary to popular belief, Walt Disney is not one of them. It's a myth that hair and nails grow after death. What really happens is that the body dries out, so the nail beds and skin on the head retract, making nails, stubble, and hair appear longer. Rigor mortis is only temporary. It's a result of certain fibers in the muscle cells becoming linked by chemical bonds, but usually goes away in a day or two as those bonds break down. How long it lasts depends on the temperature in the environment, among other factors. A corpse flower, or titan arum, known for smelling a lot like death. Icedoc.com slash patty underscore C Two of the gases responsible for the distinctive smell of death are called putrescine and cadaverine. They're produced when bacteria break down the amino acids ornithine and lysine, respectively. Bodies can become covered in what looks like soap after death technically known as adipocere, and sometimes also called grave wax, it's a byproduct of decomposition that happens as the fat in a body decays under wet, anaerobic, lacking in oxygen, conditions. Philadelphia's Mutter Museum and Washington, D.C.S. Smithsonian each have an adipocere-covered corpse on display. There are more than 200 corpses of failed climbers frozen on Mount Everest. The low temperature, low oxygen, highly acidic environmental conditions of European peat bogs can preserve bodies with remarkable detail for centuries, and even millennia. One of the most famous examples of these bog bodies is the Iron Age Holland man in Denmark. When his body was discovered in 1950, it looked so fresh his discoverers thought they'd found a recent murder victim.